Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So, anyway, I'm here at my eye doctors. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, I'm here because they're going to dilate my eyes. I don't know, it's part of the testing procedure before I do my operation. I'm getting LASIK next week, which uh, the timing is probably not ideal, but I've been putting it off for so long that I just need to get it done. Uh, the reason I say it's not ideal is because the Texas State Championship's coming up, nationals are coming up, so I hope my vision doesn't change to the point that it affects my shooting abilities, but like I said, I've been putting it off for way too long, so I'm just gonna get it done. So anyway, I'm gonna go in there and let them do their thing. Next time you see me, I'm probably gonna have some humongous glasses on. <laughs> All right, see you shortly. So I just had my eyes dilated and it looks freaking weird. Uh, I'm about to go outside so they're gonna bring me some humongous glasses I hope because I have transition glasses so I'm gonna go stand outside and let them get dark and then I'm gonna put them on but I'm hoping they're gonna give me some <laughs> humongous glasses because right now everything looks weird. They just shine a lot of light into my eyes for that thing. Hey. And uh, <laughs> But anyway, doctor's here so I better get back at it. <laughs> All right, so we decided on what are we doing? All right. like yep we're doing LASIK uh, and basically our goal is to get you seeing as clear as you possibly can at distance um, right now our, our plan is to you know with the LASIK procedure it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to do um, but you know as I was as we were t discussing is that there are three different ocular milestones that mm -hmm. we all go through the first one is called ocular maturity and basically what that means is that your eyes have stopped growing they've stopped changing and that's the perfect time to do something to kind of fix your vision or correct your vision. Uh, it typically happens around 18 to 21. Mm -hmm. And that after that, you know, that's when we know it's, it's really good, good age to, to get your eyes fixed. The second ocular milestone that we all go through is what's called presbyopia. And typically it happens around age 40, 45-ish. All right, just to, to recap. So at 18 to 21, you already reached your maturity on your eyes correct so if you have a problem it's best to correct it right there and there mm -hmm. it's best then correct. it'll last you for because that, the, that's where you get the most benefit from it. Okay. the most the you know not having to buy contacts not having to buy glasses year after year mm -hmm. you know uh during your 20s and 30s okay yeah and then you hit the second one which is about where i'm at <laughs> <laughs> right. so the second ocular milestone which is about presbyopia meaning mm -hmm. the natural lens yeah the natural lens which sits inside of your eye. So the way that I think about the eyes, I divide up into three different compartments. There's the front of the eye, the middle of the eye, the back part of the eye. The front of the eye is the clear part, the cornea. And in the middle part of the eye is where the lens sits, okay? Mm -hmm. When you hit that presbyopia range, this lens begins to stiffen. That stiffening effect uh, causes you not to be able to see things up close, so you have, to put, you have to push things out further and further and further in order to be able to see, or throw on some reading glasses. Okay. And then the third ocular milestone is when this lens becomes cloudy, and that's what we call a cataract. Okay. All right. right, so those are the three different ocular milestones that all of us go through. So right now I have, I'm nearsighted. Right? Yeah. So, so right, I can see here, right. but I can't see far. Exactly, so you're nearsighted. So in order for you to be able to see perfect, when light focuses into the eye, the focal point of light needs to hit the retina. But in your case, your eye is too strong, you're nearsighted, so it's actually focused in front of your retina. Okay. That's why you need a negative glasses prescription to push that light back uh, onto your retina to see clearly. Essentially, that's what we're gonna be doing with LASIK, is we're gonna be kind of flattening the surface of your cornea, and then also you know, treating any sort of astigmatism and stuff that you have as well, in order to get that light to be perfectly focused onto your retina to see clearly. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go. So I had two options to blend, mm -hmm. uh, which would give me far and near. Uh, but then the downsides were like depth perception, exactly, some blurriness at long distance. Yeah, and, and just and just you know, and uh, really the depth perception. You know, when you don't have 
uh, both eyes, you need both eyes working together in order to be able to see stereopsis or to be able to see in 3D. Okay. Um, whereas a blended, and so at a blended vision, it might give you good distance and then good up close. However, you will lose some of that 3D, some of that blend, uh, that, that stereopsis. So for long range shooting, which is what I do, correct and I'm it's not it's it's not for looking through the scope because I can adjust the scope to whatever I want but it's mainly for me to be able to see far away see the flags see uh, the vegetation all that good stuff correct that's, that's where the long range vision or yeah vision. and I mean when you shoot do you use both eyes or both eyes open yeah, I keep yeah. so yeah you want both of them okay. at distance so all right so I decided on what what is it called we're gonna use. We're gonna do the same thing to both eyes. That's right. We're gonna get you both both eyes set for distance. Okay. So. But I may re I may need reading glasses. You right? may need reading glasses. <laughs> but it that's because I'm old, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, that's fine. So we're gonna do the. We're gonna do both eyes, and I'm gonna be able to see really, really good far away. That's right. But we don't know what's gonna happen up close. That's yeah. The bottom line, right? Bo the bottom line. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna fix my eyes the way they should have been fixed 20 years ago. Correct. And then, because I'm entering the second uh, milestone. Correct. Depending on where I'm at, right. that's what's gonna happen. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right, so if I need readers, I need readers. That's right. Okay, that's, right. that's what we're doing, just so you know. All right, so we are just talking about for shooters, you would recommend not blending. Right, and shooters, we would typically not recommend blending because if you ask most shooters and most professional shooters, uh, they shoot with both eyes open. So they need to be able to be able to see at distance with both eyes. Um, you know, some people when they shoot, they might close one eye, but for most professional shooters, they use both eyes open. And so a blended vision would limit your ability to be able to see the targets and to, to navigate the situations okay. uh, that you would need to be able to do. Okay. So. so that's important, okay? If you're thinking about having LASIK done, get somebody like them that know what they're doing. Because uh, that was, a, as I told you, very important for me that you and the guys understand what I'm doing. Because I don't, <laughs> last thing I want is have LASIK and all of a sudden I can't perform. Correct. Yeah, out in the field. You know? Yeah, and we don't want that either. Yeah. So, so thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Who's sexy now? <laughs> anyway, so I had my eyes dilated and uh, everything checks out. So I'm having surgery next week. I will keep you guys updated. So I look super sexy now. I can't even see. I can't even see. Uh, I mean, I can see far away, but up, up close, I can't see anything. Uh, so it's gonna be a challenge because I'm gonna drive myself home <laughs> but I'm fine I can see about 10 feet in front of me I can see just fine anyway uh, again you guys heard some of that if you are a shooter you've been thinking about doing LASIK you may want to think about doing it earlier rather than later all right so something something really funny just happened to me <laughs> I stopped uh, to get some coffee and uh, the person in front of me paid for me <laughs> and I wonder if they saw the glasses and thought oh that's such a that's a cool that old man is out here by himself <laughs> I bet you I bet you anything that's what they thought because they paid for me when I went to go pay they're like oh the person in front of you paid for you so that just made me laugh crazy hard because I know that's what they were thinking <laughs> anyway uh, if the person in front of me for whatever reason is watching this video thank you that was very nice of you even though I'm not a 85 year old man <laughs> I'm gonna drive myself home and I will see you guys next time I hope all your groups are one whole see ya well right now I can't but you know what I mean <laughs>